we are back. First it's the second the of our Winmo World Final. Masters Girls semi-finals and Paige Pauling of England gets us started against Scotland's Sophie McKinley. Paige, part of the team that won the 41. Girls British Internationals title this year. Also part of the team that won the overall title at the Europe Cup Youth. 59. Yesterday won the World Open. Yeah, great season for Bates so far. Mm. Add to that, the past couple of years she has 100. won the 2021 England Open. And this year she won the England Classic, the Welsh Open and the Viking Cup girls titles. 125. Yeah, great season for her. Mm. Yesterday in that World Open she defeated her country person Isla Lightly 4-0. Defeated Becky Allen 4-1 and then defeated Aurora Fokusato in the final 5-1. Yeah, she played really 46. good on stage. She had a higher average than the boys in the final. Mm. Indeed she did. In fact, looking back, she played at the England Classic Youth this year. The two. She won the England Classic 99. Girls, but also played in the youth competition, which is open to everyone, and took a leg off Luke Littler. Fair play. Absolutely. Oh, unlucky with the last one. 120 floor. Yes. It was definitely on the floor. And then her opponent, Sophie McKinley. Number three in the UK and Ireland girls regional ranking table for the WDF. Oh, look at that. Hold on a minute, Anthony. Oh, double 18. Yeah, 36 it is. Oh, double good, 16. Good switch. Yes. Oh, Ooh. 68. Sophie, you're a miss. Yes. Give Sophie a chance at 140. Plays our county darts for Greater Glasgow. The mighty crew. <laughs> <laughs> and that's excellent darts from Sophie the trophy. As Paige comes back, nine for double eight, double four now. Double four for a one nil lead. No, she's missed again. Sophie On then the 40. shout from the Scottish contingent as Sophie takes aim at 40. Game and first dart first nails leg. it. 19 darts for the first leg from Sophie McKinley. The Sophie reigning Scottish first. Easter singles, Game Northern on. Ireland match play and Northern Ireland Open girls champion. Yes, great start from her. Not so great. This lag. Oh, five. Excellent. That's not a good start. No, no, it's not. Not the start she wanted. The last time these two played each other was at the Europe Cup Youth in the quarterfinals of the singles when Paige came out victorious, four legs to three. Sophie actually qualified for the Women's 16. World Masters this year as well. Went on to get out of her group. She lost her first match to Petra Leighton of Belgium before defeating 100. Madison Mercer and Maud Janssen to get out of the group. Then defeated Canadian Darlene Van Sluen before losing in the last 32 to former world champion Mikuru Suzuki. Yeah, when you see the average, she played great in that game. Yep, average of just under 69. But Suzuki 85. was the better player with, his average, with an average of nearly 78. Indeed. Paige Pauling, the 100. number one ranked girl in the WDF world rankings. World number one. Another dart goes clattering towards the floor. But she is on a finish and will be back for a shot at 116. Sophie's starting to find the trebles again. 84. Yeah. Good scoring visit from Sophie. Paige first on 116. Ooh, that first dart blocked the treble a little bit. There wasn't another option, so 91 left. She goes down for treble 17. Ooh, unlucky. 34. Very unlucky. So Sophie, Sophie one for 112. 112. Ooh, treble 19 ball, yep. still possible. No, not anymore. Very unlucky. Yeah, they both hit a treble three at the wrong time. To require 82. Came through the Glasgow Youth Academy when she first started playing, did Sophie. Supported everywhere she goes by Mum Vary, who is in the crowd. 42. Sophie requires 98. I think that was her that just shouted, Come on, Sophie. Oh, look at this, double 19. That was always going to be the problem. 82. Leaves it handed just Eight in case Paige 40. misses this, tops. Double 10 now. Double 5. Yes. Yes, she has the Pick double 5. 
to make it 1-0. Great last dive from Page. Game on. Good standard so far in this one. Yes, definitely. Page averaging 71.29. Sophie 73.95. That's the standard we want to see at the girls. Yes, absolutely. 30. But we all know you have to play really well to make it this far in the competition. Even in the girls' competition. Definitely. Page came through Group B 45. earlier today. She started with a win 4-1 over Dorina Sipos of Hungary. Then defeated Isla Lightly 4-1. And then defeated Kenzie Anderson of the United 33. States 4-3. That got her through. Sophie, on the other hand, came through Group F. 45. Three wins out of three. She defeated Isla Bonticu. Perfect, Anthony. Boom. Well done. I knew I'd get it right eventually. Then 60. defeated Lauren Stoko, who we just saw on stage. And then defeated Ella Williams, four legs to one. So that's how they qualified for the 58. knockout stages. And in those knockouts in the last 16, Paige defeated Abigail Harty of Canada, four legs to one. Sophie defeated 59. Daphne Camine. Yeah, correct. 4-0. I'm getting good at this, by the way. Yes. Look oh, at this. Look at this. Marvellous starts again from Paige. Yes, great scoring visit from the girl from England. Quarterfinals, Paige Pauling defeated Jana Lace, 4-3. And Sophie defeated AK. Christina Turai AK. of Hungary, 4-1. And there you have it. That is how these young ladies made it into the semi-finals of the Windmill World Masters. Yeah, it's a long day for the youth as well. It certainly is that. But if you want to become Windmill World Masters, have to play a lot of matches, definitely. Sophie has been close before. She made it all the way to the final of the 2019. As Paige Pauling checks out 60 yeah. to take a 2-1 lead, holding her throw. She made it all the way to the final a couple of years ago. 2019 at yeah. the Circus Tavern. Yeah, but Katie Sheldon won that title. Indeed she did. Katie Sheldon now a fully-fledged member of the Republic of Ireland senior setup. What a great player she is. Oh, she's absolutely magnificent. Some very good lady players in the Republic of Ireland. Katie Sheldon, Robin 60. Byrne, to name but two. And they're, they're just the young ones coming through. Robin, she's been around for a long time, but she's yeah. still an excellent player. 100. And the Irish lady did really well with the Six Nations. Yes, uh, the Irish ladies winning the Six Nations. For the first time, I think. Emotional 100. scenes that day, let me tell you. Sure, these two young ladies have 60. a massive international career ahead of them. Paige Pauling, I can see playing senior darts for England in the not too distant future. Sophie McKinley, the same for the seniors of Scotland. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Paige is finding the troubles at the moment. She needed him. Indeed, this is an excellent leg from both girls. Yes. Sophie, 146. Not this time. We'll get rid of the six off. Oh dear. 17. Only 17. Oh, it's not a good score at this time. No. The leg. Oh, the shot's on here. Oh, double, double 10. Double 10 for a 1 3 1. And what a 3 a finish 1 lead. This will be. Oh. 111. She just missed the double 10, but a 1 2 9 is a big ask. That's a single 19. Treble 20 for Bullseye. No, she can't find a treble. So Bates returns to the board for 59. double 10. And a 3 1 lead. Double ten, it is double five now. She's hit it once already. Oh no dear. Score. That's a roar from 70. the Scottish crowd, led by Mum Vary. Yeah, 70 to go. That's a single ten. Single 20 for Tops. Tops to make it 2 all. No. 50. So unlucky. Page required 20. Double ten then for Page. Double five. No. 15. And now a 20. golden opportunity gifted to Sophie McKinley. And she Game takes it. The fourth leg. And McKinley. the roar goes up once again from the Scottish crowd. First leg, it's paid She'll have Vary supporting her. She's also got her, not only her international captain, but her county captain as well, Susanna McJimpsey, in support. I'm sure Lindsay Ward, fellow Scottish international, will be watching on as well. 100. As well, Lindsay's husband, Jamie. Supporter of Sophie as well. Are you an 60. expert in Scottish darts, Anthony? Slightly. 
Oh, okay. Makes sense. <laughs> I know more than most. Yeah. <laughs> Great game so far. 45. Yep, thoroughly enjoying this one. So, who's going to play the final against the girl from Finland? This is excellent stuff. Sophie is back in the trouble again. Oh, unlucky with the last dart. Slipped out the hand, I think. But not much separating them at this point. Page puts in another good score to leave 160. Yeah. Page, as I say, the number one ranked girl in the WDF system. Sophie ranked number 10 in the world. 81. Page to require 160. So we are looking at two of the best in the system. Oh, look at this. Wow. Brilliant 140 to leave double 10. What a lack. Double 10 after 15 darts. Absolutely outstanding. 55. So for a 3 2. 20. Double 10. And she's Game done it. A 16 dart leg from Page, Page Pauling. Absolutely magnificent Six stuff. To throw first. Incredible Game standard. On. Yeah, brilliant. Like a dart. Takes her average to 75. Sophie averaging just under 70. What a game. 85. Absolutely magnificent. If this is the future of ladies' darts, let me tell you, ladies, here you've got absolutely wow. nothing to worry about. Here is Paige oh again. With the first 180 of the match. What a time to do it. Well, a 180 is always good, but this is what a perfect start of this lag. 26. Only 26 for Sophie. Bit unlucky there. Very unlucky. It was good grouping. Just. The wrong 55. side of that treble wire, separating the 20 and the 1. And here comes Sophie now. 100. Sophie does not know when she's beaten. She will graft and work and fight. But she's up against someone playing some phenomenal darts, and that's a, a bit careless nail counting front there from Paige. Leaves herself a bogey. Not Massively dangerous unless Sophie puts another treble in. But look at that scoring from both girls here. 166 after nine darts. Incredible standard. Oh, look at that. She's back it in. Oh my goodness me. So 46 left. Any which, single you want. Which double does she like? She wants tops. The leg before she was on double 10 after 15. Now she's on tops after 12. This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm giving up. Absolutely magnificent. So, Bates for tops. Tens. Double ten. Double fives. fives. No. Ooh, just inside. Sophie require this is a big ask for Sophie. One five eight yeah. to stay in the match. How about this to raise the roof? Oh, yes, it's, it's on. on. Oh, so <laughs> unlucky. Oh, look at the setup, though. Absolutely brilliant from Sophie. What a game of darts this is. Oh, wow, we. One of the games of the day and treble oh. one, double one, exhibition shots. Oh no dear. Another roar of 24. come on, Sophie McKinley, double 12 to take us to a decider. Great marker. Oh, just south, double six. She's done it. And the roar goes up again. Three, three. A fist bump between the two girls. What a high quality match this is. Page averaging 76, Sophie still just under 70. 13. Oh, and only 13 to start. The door ajar for Sophie. Yeah, great game of darts. So who's going to be on top? 41. And who's going to play the final tomorrow against the girl from Finland? Super stuff. 96. Recovers well after the 13. Yeah, great scoring visit. Sophie needs trebles here. She can't find him. Oh, very unlucky. So now it's advantage polling. And she can't find any big trebles. The nerves are kicking in, I think. Absolutely. Oh, oh no. Cancel that. Here we go. Super darts. As the roars continue. You know, Paige has support down the front as well. Amy Evans, Mum Sally. Supporting their friend and teammate. Sophie, oh, she has to go down, you think? Yes, she has to. Nice starts to just put her slightly in the lead. 240 plays 277 oh, and only 46. Only 46. 
So Sophie, and it's swinging back Sophie's way now. Can she leave herself a finish after this? No, she no can't. One. Another one. Wayward last start. Been kicking herself after that one, especially if Paige can find a treble, which she doesn't. 58. So, what can Sophie leave after this three darts? Trouble will be nice. Has to go down, surely. No, oh well, yeah, shut up, Anthony. It doesn't matter. What an excellent last start. So, Paige, 173. She needs at least one treble, you think? 47. No, Still she can't find it. So, Sophie, 99. 99 for the match and a place in the Wimmer World Masters final. Treble 20. No, 72 left. Oh, she went for treble 12, I think. Bates for 126 to reach the Wimmer World Masters final. What a finish this would be. Shot saw yes. another. Oh, oh no. no. She misses the single 19. Don't miss the big number. Don't miss the big number. We've said it all weekend. 60 left. So 45. Sophie 45 for the. Oh. It goes the six route. Right, okay. 15. <laughs> it did well. leave double 15. Eight well, uh, any way you want it, to be honest. But 60. 20 for tops for the match. For the match. No, 20. no, she's missed. Sophie is back oh in it. Class, Goodness 30. me, a chance she did not expect to get. So double 15 for the match. That was always going to be the problem. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh, this 22. is nuts. Yeah, so Bates returns to the hockey for tops and a place in the final tomorrow. She's done it! And a high quality encounter between two of the best girls in the youth system in the WDF. Paige Pauling defeats Sophie McKinley four legs to three. 72.27 the winning average. Sophie just averaging under 67. A high class encounter between two fantastic youth players. Wow, we need to get our breaths back after that one. We will be back in a few minutes' time with the first of our boys semi-finals as Luke Littler of England takes on Matty Rajon of the Czech Republic. Go nowhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 